daily examine for families is a prayerful method of checking in on how well we are living out our Christian faith on a daily basis. Developed by St. Ignatius of Loyola more than 400 years ago, the examine invites us to reflect on how God has been present in our day, how we have responded to that presence, and how we might grow in holiness. A daily examine for families brings families closer together and closer to God. In order to introduce this practice, I meet with the family for the first time in their home and have actually added a home blessing um, while I'm there to sort of uh, begin. So we begin with a, a blessing of their home and then I sit down with them and share how this works in a way that they actually do the practice together for the first time. This helps them to uh, learn how to do the practice in their setting so that they are more comfortable doing it on their own. So it begins with the scripture that they say together uh, from 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Rejoice always, pray constantly, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. There's a beginning prayer and closing prayer for them to use, but they're also encouraged, if they would like, to add their own prayers. Um, and the, the practice itself has some guidelines, but it is meant to um, be a, a way for them to share naturally and not have to do step-by-step -step kind of um, instructions. But essentially, family members share what happened in their days, um, how they saw God's presence and blessing, and then share with each other the high point and low point of their day. And then the question is, what do they think God was saying to them through their high and low point? And um, what would they like to say to God um, about their day, whether they would like to ask forgiveness for something, give thanks for something, ask for help for something, and then they pray together. Again, they can pray using their own words, uh, praying for each other, or they can use the prayer listed on the um, daily exam and instructions. Sometimes families will light a candle to put in the middle of the table as a reminder of God's presence and sort of keep them on track um, that they're doing this practice because sometimes our conversations can then just go off into the direction of our uh, daily ups and downs but, um, and get us off track. But um, the, the whole point is to uh, have families sharing with each other and being more aware of God's presence in their day. We didn't do it as often as we would have liked, but um, I, each time we did it, it was definitely a positive experience. So what did you gain from it? I think just like blocking out time each day to um, spend together, talking about each other's day and where God was present and um, definitely like the highs and lows. And I think for me, just a chance to think about things I don't normally think of um, and kind of reflect. You should tell. So did it bring you closer together to share? Yeah. Okay. And were you, are you more aware of God's presence in your days through doing this? I think so. Definitely made us think about it more. Challenges? Yeah. Doing it as yeah. <laughs> every day. <laughs> that was um, definitely the biggest challenge. Yeah. So about how many times a week would you? We were good about once a week. <laughs> more, of a, more of a weekly than a uh, daily. <laughs> but then we just reflected the whole week in one shot, you know. Is this something that you would recommend to other families? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, 
being busy and um, being new parents and just trying to find that time to um, just be with each other and, and give that opportunity to reflect has been really nice and I think even though we didn't do it as often as we would have liked to do it, when we did do it, it was very meaningful and powerful for us. So. Is this something you would continue to do? I think so. <laughs> she wasn't as... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, our our biggest issue is just yeah, trying to make time and, and actually doing it. Um, but yeah, I, it's helped us. So. Could you share who all is in your family unit doing this practice? Sure. Um, Mom and Dad, of course, Heather and Bill, and we have three children. The reason that we, uh, one of the reasons that we said yes to doing this was because of a all the recent school shootings in our elementary and their children, they're, they're made aware of this and they were very curious and, and very scared and had some questions, so I felt this could really help with that too, to even just talking to them without a one-word answer. So you definitely pay attention to things that are going on every day more than maybe we have, we did when we were children, mm -hmm. because it's, it's on so much and it's not just on the TV, it's on any social media that they pick up, uh, if they pick up Heather's Facebook, they see stuff. You know, if they're just playing something on their iPod or their iPad, you know, they might see something there too. So it, it, they have, there's a lot more interaction with, with uh, worldly things every day that are going on. So they see a lot of different stuff. So it, it helps to calm their, their thoughts and their fears about certain things that are happening. And like Heather said, when there was school shooting and then you know there's threats at school and stuff like that so it definitely helps so share about your experience as a family doing this well i, I would definitely say didn't get to do it as often uh probably as we, should, as we needed to because we're just in so many different directions all week uh, practices, running somebody here, running somebody there. Except for like Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. That was a good day to do it. I mean, it was definitely a very positive experience because it helps to decompress the day mm -hmm. and process everything that has happened during the day. And then you kind of get the kids to open up a little bit more about what's going on in school or you know what they're thinking about and everything. And we had some funny answers, so we could sit there and enjoy each other and, re you know, relax and laugh. And then we, when we incorporated, you know, well, how would Jesus help you with this? Mm -hmm. How would Jesus help you with the problem? I mean, we, we never did anything like that before, so it really made me think of, about bringing Jesus more into my life and the kids as well. So, I mean, I found that very positive, even though we only did it once a week. Um, but I, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, I'm like a proud mama, just <laughs> like, listen, you know. It was good to hear the bad things that happened to them too, because they would open up about that as well. So I could hear it and then not try to fix it, but, you know, bring help, Jesus help into the question. And help them too. Yeah. I think when I was with you doing the first one and the kids did it, Billy was a, a worried about his schoolwork at the time. So that, that gave you an idea of what he was like worried about. Right, and I was a little bit shocked, you mm -hmm. know, that he was feeling that way. But when he opened, when it opened up, I mean, they did. They, they had no problem. So did it help bring you closer together as a family? I would, I would think so. And, and how about more aware of God's presence in your days? Was that helpful? It was helpful. Yeah, definitely. It helps to calm a lot of situations. So is this something you as a family would consider continuing doing? Definitely. Yeah, I would most definitely try to do it. And would you recommend it to other families? I yes. would. Yeah, if they're willing to try it. It's a good experience. They call each other on the telephone. We talk. <laughs> <laughs> we manage to do this maybe three times a week, if, if we're in it, 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 and the scheduling. Um, yeah, and we'll get to that in a, what, What's hard about it is is the scheduling, but um, 
you know, we started off doing it more often, but then things at church started to pick up during the evening. So, so church I mean? got in the way. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Yes, kind of. Share a little bit about your experience, how, how it was for you. For me, it was very helpful because it, I always felt that it was helpful from the beginning, but I'd had two traumatic losses during this time. My niece died unexpectedly, and then a month later, my best friend died unexpectedly, and it was wonderful to have someone to share that with, who was also on the same playing field. Because if I talk to people at work, they just sometimes don't get it, because um, you know they don't have a spiritual life, or they're not on the same journey. What was the benefit of it for you? For, for me, it, living by myself, and I don't, um, I don't talk to my family a lot, not that I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I just <laughs> scheduling, and, and they're not on the same playing field sometimes. Um, it was nice having someone to share the day with, because I never had that. You know, I never had. I have three brothers, so the, nothing against the guys. But <laughs> I, the, the brothers all stick together, and it's like they have one language, and then I have my own language. So, it's, so it's different. So it was not. It's nice having someone to be able to share your day with. I am a widow, so it's been some time since I have. Uh, someone that I can talk with on a regular basis and share, someone I trust. My husband and I used to do this naturally all the time, um, but there is more of a spiritual component on this now, and it, it's just good to know that there, there's going to be somebody who will listen and hear, and you're not talking to yourself or talking to God and not always hearing an answer, but sometimes you hear an answer through the other person that's with you on the telephone. So it's uh, it's a good thing, and it's we laugh as well. There's you know because there's a lot of funny things that go on. So has this changed life for you in any way? It has for me. It really has. I look forward to it. Yeah, I know. The one week, it was like, just the way the schedules were, we only, were only going to be able to do it one time, and I was like so long. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it really has changed. I do look forward to it, and it's nice. And now I'm more aware of God in, in my day. You know, sometimes you just go by doing your day, but now I'm more aware of them in every part of it, and not just at the end of the day when I'm talking about it. So it just it's made me more aware. And both of you shared with me that you have a, a, a greater sense of peace in your life. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah I, because I don't keep all those feelings or experiences in um, from my day. Um, it doesn't, you know, build up and, and then blow over. So every day I feel more peaceful because either I've shared or I know I'm going to. You know, so I, don't, I just put it aside and I, I just feel more peaceful about my day and my, my whole life. <laughs> so is this is this something that you um, think you might continue to do? Mm -hmm. Yes. And would you recommend this to other folks in your situation? You know that. Absolutely. I would. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think it was a very positive experience. Um, it's something we kind of have done for a long period of time since we have moved around a lot. There's been a lot of days where it was just uh, the two of us anyway. Um, I think the added adding in more, you know, what is God trying to tell you through that was the very big difference between what we would have normally done on any given Tuesday. And it, it helped um, kind of enlighten you to your day and reflecting on, okay, something negative happened. Is there something positive that you were shown from that? Or what can you do to improve the situation? And if something was positive, you know, what was God trying to show you? Should you repeat this behavior? Should you change it slightly to get, you know, maybe a better result? And it was just a little bit more eye-opening than just kind of the standard, hey, how was your day today? Because you call it what? Rose and Thorn. Rose and Thorn. Rose and thorn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I, I like the imagery. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it does add a different layer when you say, um, you know, what's the high point of your day? What's the low point of your day? What is God trying to tell you through that? Um, that changes it from just complaining or telling something about the day to really looking at how that impacts you. What should you be trying to get out of this? You know, sometimes there are solutions to problems. Sometimes there are behaviors you should be repeating. Um, 
especially with us just moving and me starting a new job. I mean, there was a lot of stuff in there that was, hey, that's that's improving. Or, yeah, that, it was good today. I should continue doing more of that, not just, yeah, well, well this one. Very good. So how, how do you think it's changed you, your life? I, I think dynamically, it, it's the adding of what is God trying to tell you through this. Um, the rest of it wasn't new for us. None of it, it wasn't new at all. But we never really sat down and said, you know, what is God trying to tell us through this? What, what, should, what should we be adding? What should we be taking away instead of just, ah, this went wrong today, real low point. Some, a lot of the times there's something that you could get out of that if you thought to yourself, you know, what am I trying to be told here? So. Very good. So what were the, any challenges to doing it? Just time, I think just like everybody else. I mean, we were pretty consistent with it. You did it pretty much every day, but there were times when, you know, it would be 10 o'clock at night, you would be like, oh, I forgot to do this. And then, <laughs> I, you know, you're yeah. tired and winding down, and then all of a sudden we start this conversation and it's 11 o'clock and you're up talking. So is this something you'll continue to do? Yeah, yeah I think so. And we did also recommend it to our friends. Um, we have a friend that's, um, you know, new parents, and they're having troubles with communication. And I feel like this is a really good way to help people start that conversation, start talking. So we've even passed it on to other people that aren't even in this church. Right. Uh, when you agreed to try the daily exam for families, what were you hoping to get out of it? I think we were hoping to get more of an awareness of, of God and to do a spiritual practice together. I would agree. When you told me about it, I thought it would give us typical make us have some time during the day to talk. And what was your experience like doing that? I, I thought it was very helpful because it was a chance for us to share our day with each other in a way that I could share if I had a problem that day that he, I didn't feel like he was thinking, is she telling me this to solve it or to just share it? I mean, it was like a safe place to kind of share our day, the good and the bad. We ended up doing it at bedtime, so it was totally relaxed. It removes you from the day, and it um, got everything. If, if there was an anxiety or anxiousness over something, it just removed all that. So it was much more relaxing. Well, what challenges did you run into with doing this practice? Scheduling and time still. Scheduling and time, although we managed to do it most days. Um, but it was also um, sometimes, and I think John mentioned this once, that sometimes our highs and lows day to day were the same. Like my lows can consistently be having to get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> and, um, and sometimes you can't even think of a low for his day. I have lows, I have <laughs> things that were good and highs, but nothing that was really that low. This is meant to bring families closer together and more aware of God's presence in your days. Have you experienced this? It's an emphatic yes. Yeah. Because if we if you follow the script of the opening prayer, closing prayer, um, yeah, it just makes you realize how much God's in your life. And I think that that what we saw was a greater joy for how God was at work in our life, like your work. Um, you you seem to be more um, at peace with it and finding more joy in it um, through this practice. And um, so we're not focused on the negative of the day always, because that's what kind of sticks with you the most, but we're focused also on the positive. So it, it brings more peace and joy. Would you recommend this practice to others and will you be continuing to do it yourselves? I, I think we're continuing to do it ourselves and we'd love to see other people. I'd say yes and yes, because it makes, as, especially as a married couple, it just makes you sit down and talk, which you don't take the time to do, and it gives us that time. I guess if you're a family, same thing. And it's easy for, you guys may have fun for kids, just to say, what's your high, what's your low, and then slowly you get them into, oh, we're saying a prayer with this. So yeah, for us, praying together was a, a part of it. I mean, each of us had prayer practices, but doing that together was helpful. And um, I think um, just being more aware of what each other's thinking and feeling throughout our day, that was helpful. 
So share with us a little bit about how you experienced this practice. I found it tough. I, uh, we only seem to do it when we're having a good day. Okay, and that's probably my fault because I keep things inside you know, until it comes out. When we, when we did do it, we weren't as good at doing it as we should have been. Uh, but when, when we, did, we always did talk, even prior to you coming to us uh, with this uh, presentation. Um, anyway, um, we didn't always, uh, when we talked, I thought we talked more when we did do it. And I thought that at that point, it was bringing us closer together. I think mostly what happened was uh, we weren't doing it. We did it more often in the beginning and then didn't do it as much as the end. So were there any benefits from this for the two of you when you were able to do it? Yeah, I mean, there were significant benefits, yeah. Um, I think when I talk to people about certain things, I mean, Carol, um, it gives me an accountability you know, what I'm doing instead of just, you know, me talking to God. I mean, now I put this stuff right on the line, you know, now i got to follow through on it. How about you, Carol? What were the benefits for you? For example, stuck in traffic and you, you want to say something and you think, oh, no, God wouldn't want me to do that. <laughs> you know, it pops into my mind right away. So he's always, like, I think, more of a presence. Mm. So you felt more of God's right. presence. In yes, life. absolutely. So not only did you talk over what um, God was doing, it made you more aware mm -hmm. the next day yes. <laughs> that God was present in your life. Uh, Any other benefits from this you'd like to share? I think it's something that uh, every family should share and, and try and do. And even though, you know, all of us have been at fault not doing it every day. But I think it's something that actually would benefit everyone. Mm -hmm. So is this something that you would consider doing, continuing? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because we were doing it prior to this, too. 